Hi there again everybody, second video of the night. I've got time to to just show off a few more records that I bought. Oh my god. Um I just don't seem to stop buying bloody records. It's just oh dear. I think I need to take a break from buying stuff because I've really got to catch up with some of the listening I've got. Um and I'm from down from London all the time, so I haven't been listening as much as I usually do because I would have caught up with this. Anyway, these are the next batch is a load of vinyl I got from one seller on eBay. Um, there's one record that I really, 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 really wanted, and I've spent probably quite a lot on it. Well, for me, it's quite a lot. Um, and then I thought, well, he's got a load. Of, this person's got a lot, a load of records that look pretty cheap and they were pretty cheap most of them were a quid a couple were a couple of quid so I thought and then he basically um, sent sent said he'd send sorry and then he said he'd send like basically two kilograms of records um, the same price as one record so I thought oh should I oh, fuck it. yeah I'm gonna buy another load so let's go through these now I'll start off with the one that I went for first. Um, this is the one I really wanted. So it's David Live. It's the other live album which I never got. I've already got uh, the other one which was, and I can't remember, but the other David Bowie live album from 78. 78. This is from 74 tour. Um, the Young Amer I think it's the Young Americans tour. It's got a really good track listing. Um, I think it's the only place on the album that he does. It's got Knock on Wood. But it's got tracks from all through his career at that point, ranging from Whip the Circle, uh, Ziggy Tracks, Diamond Dogs Tracks, there's a lot of Aladdin, Aladdin Insane Tracks, Hunky Dory Tracks. So it's a really good mix. So, given that expense, see. Um, then I also managed to pick up, I'm trying to fill up some of the gaps in my Roxy Music collection. There's si Siren. Is that what it's called? Siren. Yeah, of course it is. Jerry Hall on the cover. As a Siren. Of course. Um, this one's got Love is a Drug on it. Both ends burning. That's a good track. Um, there's a side with the um, pictures in it. Um, oh, it's got a nice custom label. There's a custom label. You've seen that. There we go. So I think this is an original pressing from 75. So very pleased to got that. That's another final Roxy got. Um, also picked up the Armoury Show, Waiting for the Flood. This was uh, Richard Jobson's uh, band after the skids broke up. He's better known as being a TV big head now. He doesn't really do anything anymore, but um, I have heard this. This is a good album, this is. So I'm really pleased I managed to pick this up. Um, it's back. There's Richard Jobson. There we go. And it's got the lyrics the inside and it's on Parlophone so the usual Parlophone label there we go ok so that's the Armoury show waiting for the flood um, pick the next one up because I got I picked up the Steel Ice Band album earlier on and I'm just going to give any that I see a good spin this one is uh, Storm Force 10. I don't know any of the tracks on it, but I'm really, really been digging Steel Ice Band, so I'm, I really do like that kind of folky sound. Um, comes with the inner sleeve, not inner sleeve, lyric sheet. There's a lyric sheet. And the original sleeve, I guess. Maybe this is a reissue, I don't know. Don't know. On Chrysalis. Five one. I can check the um, uh, record numbers. Don't know if that's original or not, but I think good nick anyway. So I'm looking forward to that one. Also picked up Girl School. 
all girl rock band um, famously recorded an EP with Motorhead which I think went top 5 um, this one's got cover of Race with the Devil um, Midnight Rides on it so there's a date back cover I think the back cover is better than the front cover. I think the front cover is pretty knack. It's, it's um, it on, on bronze records. There you go. That should be good. In fact, I know it's good because I've listened to some of it. I haven't listened to all of it yet, but that's good. Also picked up the cars, Candy O. Um, do I know any of the tracks? I think I know the, the tracks from the cars that were later. Um, so this will be a good, good listening experience. So I'm looking forward to getting that. So it's got the um, lyrics on one side, picture of the band, just on Electra. There we go. I swear people sell off records cheaply just because the glue's come off. I mean, that's no reason to sound cheaply. Um, but it looks to be in good shape. And there's a picture of the band. There we go, the Cars Candy O. Now, the next one I was flabbergasted by when I heard this. And it is actually a really gorgeous condition copy. I don't know whether this is actually original or not. I think it might be. back in the sleeve again. Let's just take that out for now. Right, so this is Herman's Hermits and this is Blaze. Now this was an American only release and it's still in the shrink which is uh, quite unbelievable because um, this was released in about 69. It's, I don't really rate much of Herman's, Her Herman's Hermits. It's a bit jokey, a bit crap actually. But this one, there's some really good tracks on it. Um, it seems like most bands released at least one kind of slightly psychedelic pop record. And this is Herman's Hermits. And there's a, some really good tracks on there. Moonshine Man's a good one. Um, Green Street Green's alright. Don't go out in the rain, you're going to melt. Obviously some writer's been cribbing notes from psych bands and writing lyrics for them. Um, there's some really good tracks on here. I really rate this album. Um, and I would never have thought that I'd hear anything from Herman Samus that would be good. It's on MGM. Which I'm, and I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure. I think it might be an original pressing. I'm not sure. But it's in fantastic condition. Whatever. Right. There we go. Got that back in. There we go. And the last one is... This literally was... I saw this, 99p, right, I'll add it to the, to the parcel, just see what I guess. This is Head East, this is Getting Lucky, um, I know nothing about them, I've played it, and yeah, it's a fairly solid record, um, got the in in insert, the lyrics, on A&M, um, it's a pretty standard sort of late 70s rock record. But I quite enjoyed it and I'll, I will spin that again. And there's a the back. And there we go. So if anybody knows anything about this lot, then let me know. Um, I haven't looked it up on the internet. I probably could do, but I'm being a bit lazy. But that was good. Right. So there goes my second batch of records tonight. In under 10 minutes. So that was pretty cool. Um, I do like to keep them as, not brief, but try and keep them under a certain length. Um, I'm finally whittling down the amount of records I've got. I'll probably upload another video tomorrow, um, because I always seem to be adding. I see stuff all the time, and it's always for like a couple of quid here and there. Just keep adding. Anyway, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!